Hi, welcome to another episode of Cook Healthy BR, a recipe project of the Mayor's Healthy City Initiative. Each week we bring you a new, healthy, family-friendly recipe for you and your family to try at home. Let's get started. Today we've got Jennifer Tucker, owner of Healthy and Grateful Health Coaching. Jennifer, tell us a little bit about what you do at Healthy and Grateful. All right, so basically I go into families' houses and I help them improve their nutrition quality. So we start where they are, we you know assess what they're eating at the moment, and then we take baby steps toward the right direction. That's awesome. Today, Jennifer is bringing us a really fun and healthy take on a traditional spaghetti and meat sauce. Tell us a little bit about what we're cooking today. All right, so we're going to cook spaghetti squash. We're going to roast the seeds for an added bonus. And it's very simple. We're just going to ground meat or TVP, put in some great spaghetti sauce, put it in the spaghetti squash once it's cooked and you're ready to go. So this is our TVP, which is textured vegetable protein, which is our vegetarian source of protein. Then we have buffalo meat, which we'll brown and use in the second dish. And then we have the spaghetti squash. And just olive oil, you have whatever choice of um, sauce you would like to use, salt and pepper. All right, let's get cooking. All right, let's do it. So cutting up a spaghetti squash or any of our big hard squashes can be really tough. You want to be really careful when you're doing it. Jennifer, show us how it's done. All right, let's see if I can do this. This is the hardest part of the meal. One little tip that you can use is you can put it in the oven for a few minutes before you attempt to cut it. It'll soften it a bit so that way you can get into it a little easier. But once you get your cut going, it can be a little off-centered sometimes, but it tastes just as good. And we've got it open. I'll take the knife and Thank we'll get it out of the so way much. so that we don't cut ourselves. We're going to scoop out all of these seeds. We'll each grab a spoon so we can work Thank you very at the much. same time. You want to use olive oil or whatever you normally use to grease your pan before you brown the meat. Olive oil is a great choice. It's really high in omegas and it's really good for you. We're using ground buffalo here. It's a really lean red meat, um, so that makes it a good choice. If you can't find buffalo or you choose not to use it, you could substitute in lean ground beef or even ground turkey or ground chicken. We're just going to brown this. We're going to take a few minutes, let this meat brown completely and cook through, and then we'll come back and show you the rest of the recipe. All right, Jennifer, our meat's brown. Looks great. We've got it browned all the way through. What's our next step? All right, so the next step is very easy. We did add a little, we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to give our meat some flavor. You can also, like I said, if you have a favorite seasoning pack or anything like that that you would like to use, that's definitely welcome. Could we add any fresh herbs to this? Yes, we could. And I normally add onions and garlic to mine to give it that extra kick because I really, you know, my whole family really enjoys that. And then it's super simple. All you have to do is make sure you give it a good shake. You get your spaghetti if you can open it. All right. There you go. <laughs> and you just pour your sauce right on the meat. I did drop the temperature on the stove just okay, so we wouldn't great. have any splatter back on us. Safety first Perfect. every time we're cooking. And how long do we need to let this simmer? You know, I would just let it simmer for about three to five minutes just to get the sauce nice and hot, and then you'll be ready. And then you'll get your squash out of the oven, and you can just scoop it right into the squash. Ah, this couldn't have been easier or faster. All no, right. That's great. We'll be right back as soon as our spaghetti squash is done cooking. We'll show you how to take that squash and turn it into a really good substitute for actual spaghetti. Our squash is done. It's baked in the oven for about 15 minutes. Um, you can see it's got some good color on it. How do we treat this? All right, so basically once you know that your squash is cooked and tender, you're just gonna take your fork and you can see how it's got its name. Looks just like a noodle. You can slowly just pull it out. There you go. Now do we need a separate bowl for this? I don't. I serve mine right in the spaghetti squash. It saves dishes, saves time, and it's fun. Oh, that does sound like fun. I bet the kids love when they get to use such a neat bowl that they've probably never eaten out of before. Exactly. Change it up a bit. So once you get all your spaghetti squash good and, you know, moved around a bit so it's easy to get to, then you can just top it with your ground meat. And um, 
spaghetti sauce and we're good to go. All right, I'll grab the spaghetti sauce All right. and we can get going. Another trick, if you like Parmesan cheese, you can always finish it off with Parmesan cheese on top. If that would, you know, make it more enticing to your family. Now, when we had our ingredients earlier in the video, Jennifer brought some textured vegetable protein. Jennifer, tell us a little bit about that as a good meat alternative for the vegetarians out there or maybe the people that are trying to cut back on the quantity of meat they eat for whatever reason um, that they have. Absolutely. So basically, textured vegetable protein, this is what it looks like. It stores very nicely, very easy. You can just keep it in a glass jar. And basically, it's super simple to cook. You just do two to one with water. You boil the water, you add the TVP, and it, you'll see it absorbs the water and rehydrates. And then you can season it. has really doesn't have any flavor. So then whatever you season it with is what it takes on the flavor of. And it's a great source of protein, and it's animal-free. Great. Jennifer actually brought us some with some TVP in it. I'm going to admit I've never tasted TVP before, so we've got the two here. It's time to taste. I'm going to grab us a couple of forks. All Here's right. one for you. Thank I'll you. I'll grab this one. I am going to taste the TVP one. We like to tell people don't be afraid to try new things. We like to live what we say. So That's right. Let's get going. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That's very good. I would not know that there was something as unusual as textured vegetable protein. You can get it at just about any health food store, mm -hmm. correct? That yes. is delicious. Okay. This is such a fun dish. It came together super quick. The hardest mm -hmm. thing was cutting that spaghetti squash. <laughs> Once you've got that done, really about 15 minutes start to finish. So this right. could be a really easy, fun, super nutritious work night meal, something quick that you can put together with ingredients that you probably already have in your house. You can find out more information about Jennifer and her um, health coaching business by visiting her website or her Facebook page. We've got those links in the show notes. You can also find out more information about this recipe and everything else that Healthy BR is doing by visiting HealthyBR.com. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs>